All right, we're gonna be talking about flags and beams, ties and eighth notes in this lesson. So first of all, make sure you've got your first and last name, your instrument, and then let's look at our vocabulary. So the first word today is gonna be a beam. A beam is a short straight line that connects two or more notes. So this right here is a beam, okay? Another example of what it might look like, we're gonna talk about this more here in just a minute, but is this, okay? If you look at just this part, that's with the note heads on there, so that's more like what you're used to seeing a note look like. But the actual beam is just this line right here. It's a short straight line that connects two or more notes. I think of it like a balance beam, a beam that connects two notes, okay? A flag is a wavy line extending from the top of a stem of a note. So here's a flag, and it looks like a flag waving, okay? So a beam looks like a balance beam, a flag looks like a flag waving. So it's just this part right here. Another example is right here that shows you what it would look like with a note head attached, okay? All right, so a beam and a flag, we'll talk more about what that means here in a minute, okay? Um, actually, let me, let me point this out real quick because that applies to both of these things. A flag or a beam divides a note's value in half. So whatever the note would have been, if you add a beam or if you add a flag, it's going to divide that value in half. Okay, we'll talk about that more as we keep going. All right, we'll come back to that in a minute. So then the next thing I want to talk to you about is a tie. And the reason I have these two together is because this is all talking about things that adjust a note's value. And so a tie does that also. It's a curved line connecting two or more notes of the same pitch. A tie, and I'll come back to that in a minute, a tie extends a note's value by adding the duration of all tied notes together. Okay, so let's talk about what that means. So let's say that you have two notes here. Let's say that these are both Fs. This is an F and this is an F, okay? If you want these two notes to be played like one note, you can tie them together, okay? And if, you, if we're in class, the way I would explain this is I would take off my shoes if I'm wearing tennis shoes, and I would actually tie my shoes together. So pretend this is a shoe and this is a shoe, and we're actually tying our shoe together. They are tied. Now they're connected. They're one, it's like one item. You can't drop one item and hold on to the other. Like, you're going to hold on to both of them. They're one. They're tied together. Now, often, the reason that composers do this, because you might think, well, why don't they just put a half note, right? But sometimes there's a bar line, and they want a note to go across the bar line, but you can't put a half note here. If you, We'll talk about that more in another lesson. There's just rules about music. So sometimes they have to connect them with a tie, okay? So, again, a tie is when it is the same note, like an E and an E, the same note, and you want it to be uh, connected, okay? So it's a curved line connecting two or more notes of the same pitch or the same note, okay? And it extends the note's value by adding the duration of all tied notes. So this is a quarter note and a quarter note. So this is now worth two. Sorry, there you go, worth two. Okay, what if you have a half note tied to a half note? Well, now that's worth four. What if you have a half note tied to a quarter note? That's duration is going to be three beats, okay? So the tie is like a plus sign or, again, like you're tying them together. So if you're tying together something that's worth two beats with something that's worth one beat, then it's now worth three beats, okay? All right, so now let's talk about eighth notes. So we've talked about half notes and whole notes and quarter notes. Now we're going to talk about an eighth note. Now let's talk about this one first, okay? You're going to see eighth notes two different ways often. So one way is like this. This is a single eighth note. It looks like a quarter note with a flag, right? And we said that a flag or a beam divides a note's value in half. So an eighth note is going to get half the value of a quarter note. So a quarter note got one beat. So an eighth note is going to get half of one beat. It's going to get half a beat because it has that flag. However, eighth notes, you will often see them beamed together. Again, a beam is a short straight line that connects two or more notes. You're going to see them beamed together in groups of two. Okay, so this one gets a half and this one gets a half. Together, they get one beat. 
So often, just because of the way music's written and because half plus half equals one, often they'll be beamed together and you'll see them like this. As you get into more advanced music, more and more you'll start seeing them single eighth notes, but you'll still see these often, it's just common. So that's why I'm pointing it out. Okay, so an eighth note gets half a beat. If you have two eighth notes then, it would get one beat together, but it's because this one gets half and this one gets half. Whether it's the flag or the beam, it's dividing the note into half. It divides the value of the note in half. Now, this is not on this worksheet, but I do want to point out, of course, there's also an eighth rest, just like all the other notes have a rest that gets half a beat, and it looks like this. I think of it like a really fancy looking seven, okay? But it gets half a beat, okay? But we're not going to really talk about that a whole lot um, right now. I just wanted to kind of point it out. All right, so knowing that we've got see here we've got our eighth notes that are beamed and our eighth notes that are flagged um, and it gives you pictures of them right here an eighth note gets half um, sorry one eighth of a whole note so it gets half of a quarter note or an eighth of a whole note the reason that's important is you want to understand that there are eight eighth notes in a whole note just like there would be eight pieces of pie if you cut a pie in half into the whole pie. So eight eighth notes is a whole note or one eighth of a whole note. All right, so let's come down here now and talk about beams and flags. Now here it talks about two beamed notes are eighth notes, and that's true. If you have four beamed notes and you still only have, here's the important thing, only have one beam, they're still eighth notes. So you can beam together two eighth notes, or sometimes you can beam four, sometimes you can beam six. The most common is two, but sometimes you'll see it as four as well. So I just wanna make sure you understand that if it's one beam, it's divided the note in half one time, so those are eighth notes. So let's practice that down here. So you're gonna trace the beamed eighth notes. Notice that uh, when the notes are up high, the stems go down on the left. When the notes are low, the stems go up on the right. Okay, then down here, eighth notes can also be beamed in groups of four as long as there is only one beam. Trace the beamed eighth notes, and then you can draw some of your own here in a minute. I'm gonna um, just trace these, and then you can pause, and you can uh, draw some of your own, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and pause, and why don't you draw, you know, four to six extra sets, some, some down like that, and some that are up high. Do a couple of these, kind of fill in your space here, and then come back when you're done. Okay, so now we're gonna practice drawing ties onto the notes below. Remember that a tie connects two or more notes of the same pitch, and it adds the value of those two notes together. So right here, we're gonna draw two quarter notes, the note head, the stem, the stems are up and on the right. And so the tie is gonna go down here below the note. Think of it as tying the note head together, not the stem. So you wouldn't draw the tie up here. You would always draw it down here by the note head. Now look at this next one though. You've got a half note, first of all, so it's an open note head. Stem goes down because the notes are up high. This time, your tie is gonna go up above the notes because you're thinking of it as a tying one note head to the next note head. Okay, so then it says uh, to practice drawing the ties. So now we're gonna tie together these two quarter notes. So that's one beat, that's one beat. They're now together, they're worth two beats. Now we're gonna tie together all three of these. You can tie together more than two notes. You can tie together three or four if needed. It's not very common to do a whole lot, but okay. So this would be one beat plus one beat plus two more beats. So that would be four beats total. Okay, here's one, you gotta go up above, tie note head to note head. Technically, ties don't quite touch the note, but if it helps you remember to do note heads, I can live with that. Okay, two half notes tied together would be four beats, two plus two, and a half note tied to a quarter note would be three beats, okay? All right, now let's come down here. This kind of puts together a whole bunch of different stuff that you've learned so far. First of all, we're gonna add a clef. So, let's get our handy dandy pictures if you are a bass clef person you can draw a bass clef draw half of, oh sorry you can't see that uh draw half of a heart and put your two dots or on the fourth line remember the fourth line here you're going to put a dot below and a dot above okay if you're a treble clef person you can start at the top straight line down a little bit of a curve 
going to draw a P that goes to the fourth line, swirl around like a six, and make sure you're going around the G line. Okay? Again, if it's not perfect, that's okay. And we are going to check stuff off so we don't forget anything. We added a clef at the beginning. Now we need to add a final bar at the end, and it barely fits. You have to just kind of squeeze it in there. And remember that the final bar line has a little bit thicker at the, the second line, and that shows you it's the end of the song. Okay? All right, now it says circle. So we're going to circle all the eighth notes, whether they are flagged or beamed. Okay? So we're looking for flags like this, and we're looking for beams like this. We're going to circle any eighth notes. Okay? So here's one right here. You're going to circle that one. I want you to circle all the other eighth notes you see in that whole line. You can pause it and come back when you're done. Okay, so you should have circled this one. You should have circled these two together. If you circled them individually, that's okay. Usually we would circle them together. Um, and then you could circle these two and then these, or you could have circled them individually. As long as you knew they were eighth notes, that's fine. Now it says which measure has flags. So let's go back and let's number our measures. Remember we talked about this before. So we don't usually number measure one because we kind of know it's measure one. So let's number measure two, three, four. Okay. Now look for which measure has flags. There's only one measure that has flags and it is measure one. Which measures have beams? Write that down. So it's measure two and measure four. The tie goes from measure what to measure what? So first of all, where is the tie? Right here. Okay, so it is going from this measure to this measure. So it's going from measure three and it's tying across the bar line to measure four. One last question right here. What is the total duration of the tied notes? So you have to add together the duration of a half note and the duration of a quarter note. Put the answer right there, what you think it is. So a half note is worth two beats, a quarter note is worth one beat, so the total is three beats. The link to the next lesson in this video series can be found in the description below.